Hello everyone, my name is Simply Brianna B and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about periods. It's basically periods 101. This is for young girls who may not know the ins and outs of why they're bleeding every month for seven days straight or whatever the case may be. Some of this information, even older girls may not even know. There are some things that I'm gonna say that I didn't even know until a few years ago. So, I hope that this helps everyone, and please like and share this video, and you may be able to help a young girl out there that may not have a mom or a mother figure to tell them about what periods are and how they work. Let me first start out by explaining what the purpose of your menstrual cycle or your period is. Girls as young as 9 or as old as 16 can start their first period. Your period happens when your egg has not been fertilized. So when your body realizes that your egg has not been fertilized, your uterus sheds the lining that would have held that fertilized egg. This process is where contractions, or otherwise known as cramps, come from because that's your uterus contracting to release that lining from your body. So your period is usually gonna last between four and seven days. So on average, your period is gonna come between 21 and 35 days apart. So that's around a month. But usually for younger girls starting out their periods, they're very irregular. This can be even common in older women. It just depends on your body and it depends on certain health issues that you may or may not have. Usually over time, your period is gonna become more normal and more regular and you're gonna be able to, you're gonna be able to know when it's coming or around the time when it's coming. Okay, so this is one thing that um, a lot of people may not know or maybe I just didn't know. I didn't know this until like a few years ago. So every woman has a fertile window, which is the days leading up to and after your ovulation. So basically, technically, scientifically, there is a time where you cannot become pregnant according to this information that I'm about to say right now. So your fertile window is the days leading up to and after your ovulation. Ovulation is when one of your ovaries releases an egg, which can be fertilized for up to 24 hours. Side note, sperm can live inside of you for up to seven days. Now, this is why your fertile window is very important because when your egg is released, it can be fertilized. And if that sperm has been living inside of you or whatever, there's the opportunity for you to become pregnant. Just because I say that you can only get pregnant within your fertile window does not mean that you should take any chances because anything can happen and everybody is different. Okay, every girl knows about the symptoms of periods or what we call premenstrual syndrome, which is like the days leading up to your actual period. And during this time, this is where you get the most intense symptoms. Um, you're craving chocolate or you're craving chips, salty snacks. You're emotional, you're very irritated, you're bloated. These are just some of the symptoms of premenstrual syndrome that most people go through, well, most girls go through. Um, when they're about to come on their period. If you guys would like me to film a video on how you can help deal with those symptoms, please let me know in the comments below and I can do so. One thing that I do suggest is for you to download an app that helps you track your period. This helps me a lot because whenever, whenever I go to the doctor, they ask me when was my last uh, cycle and then if I don't know, I can just go right to the app and it tells me because I've recorded it. The app that I use is called Clue. You can download it for free in the Apple App Store. This app, it allows you to see what's going on in your body, like visually, instead of just like writing it down or just seeing some words. It has visual representation of everything that you track. So it's gonna show you your fertile window. It's gonna show you, it's gonna allow you to record when you're PMSing. It's gonna allow you to record 
your sexual activity, what method you use in terms of pads or tampons, whether you take the pill or you get the shot. It, it lets you record a lot of things, even down to cravings. It also allows you to see your period predictions for up to three months. So as I'm showing you, you can see that it shows when my period is supposed to come and then you can also see if you go down you can see when I'm supposed to get my period up to three months after that even though there are many different methods of I don't even know how to say this um, even though there are different ways of collecting your blood I'm sorry if that sounds gross but that's what it is even though there are different methods of collecting your blood nowadays, the most common methods are tampons and pads. Let's get into the pros and cons of tampons and pads. When I first started my period, I was always on pads. I would recommend this for girls who are virgins, but there are girls who are not virgins that prefer to wear pads, and that's perfectly fine. I did actually prefer to wear pads before but then I switched over to tampons and I just seem to like those better pads should be changed like every three to five hours I would say pads are better for chill days rather than like days where you're going out or you're wearing a cute outfit just because it's like it feels like a diaper sometimes and then sometimes you don't know if people can see it or not so you're like self-conscious the whole time and it just takes away from the whole vibe also the fact that you can actually feel the blood coming out is a con for me because like when you I'm pretty sure this happens for other people but like if you have a heavier flow and you're wearing a pad and then you get up and then you feel it or like if you sneeze or cough you feel it it's like I don't feel like going through that I just I really don't so that's how I feel about pads now let's move on to tampons tampons should only be worn up to six hours that is because with tampons you can get toxic shock syndrome which is very bad and it can cause some very horrible symptoms and it can even result in death so you just want to be careful with how long you have those in. Now, like I said earlier, I wore pads. Well, I would recommend pads for girls who are virgins simply because it, it can just be uncomfortable for you. But tampons are really helpful for if you play sports or do dance or anything athletic because it allows you to be more flexible. You can go swimming with them and not worry about it and they're also much more convenient like you barely know it's there but going back to the toxic shock syndrome do not wear tampons overnight so if you wear tampons you wear them throughout the day and then when you're going to sleep you put on a pad you put on an overnight pad so for my periods they are about four about yeah about four days they come every month on time I used to have a very heavy flow and my periods used to be very random I did not I didn't have any idea when they were coming except for when I started feeling cramps because my cramps were really intense and I always bled for seven days no matter what now I only bleed for four days and my flow is regular my cramps are not nearly as bad as they were before now how I did this just wasn't by age it wasn't by me getting older it was actually by me starting on birth control this is a method that a lot of people use to regulate their periods I take what is called Junel fee I don't know if that's how you pronounce it but I'll put it up on the screen yeah I use that I take it every day other people do the shot and uh, other methods but I can get into that in a different video if you guys want but my method is birth control and it has helped me a lot and it is very effective for me. I think that's all of the information that I have right now about periods, menstrual cycles, whatever you want to call them. If you have any questions, please comment below and start a conversation with somebody. If somebody has a question and you have the answer, just answer it or I'll try to answer it as much as possible. So if you guys would like me to do 
more girl talk videos including like the sex talk losing your virginity relationships um birth control anything let me know in the comments below and i will do so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and like this video